everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kim and this is me for kids. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really beautiful glass morphism card and find a bunch of 3D stuff in Figma community to create a really beautiful hero for your landing page. Let's get right into it. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, my landing page ready and I'm just going to create a card for here. Uh, so we can uh, present it in Dribbble or whatever website that we want to share it with or even for our client. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Now I'm going to set the fill to linear. And I'm going to give it a stroke again linear I'm going to set the field to 10% okay I'm going to give it background blur okay looks good just going to give it a little bit of curve And now I'm going to generate the noise. As you can see, I have it in my plugins. You can find it in Figma. Okay, let's just... Okay, after I generated my noise, I'm just going to take export of it because uh, I'm going to use it a lot. So I'm just going to export it here. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a new but I'm going to just change it to image. I'm going to choose my image and I'm going to choose this rectangle. You see? It's actually really good. Uh, if you use noise a lot, this is a really good way for you to use it. Okay, as you can see, I have my card ready now. And we have the noise and we have everything. I'm just going to uh, play with this for a little bit because I don't want it to be a lot. Okay, that's really good. Now I'm gonna create the holographic image that I'm gonna uh, put on my card. It's really easy. We are just going to create a shape and uh, give it a radial color. You see, I have my color here. These are the colors that I want want to use. You can change them uh, with the colors that works the best for you. After that, uh, you're just going to have to duplicate it, give it a new color, choose angular and just select these parts of it. Okay, I'm just going to give it 100% black and this one 100% white and I'm just going to do it for the rest of the spots okay now as you can see i have it ready i have my black and white spots i'm just gonna give it 100 percent so you can see it now here in this section choose the difference okay now what i want you to do here is to you have to choose it duplicate it and put it on screen this one okay as you can see now well, this is uh, the color that i'm going to use uh, a little bit forward i'm going to show you so i'm just going to make a group of it and that's pretty much it now what i want to do is uh, i'm going to just uh, duplicate my rectangle and just do this make it a little bit smaller looks good now <laughs> this is the tricky part actually i'm just gonna uh, delete the fee fills and i'm just gonna delete this part of it okay and just put these a little bit lower okay here i'm going to export this because i want to use it later and now uh, instead of this uh, color i'm going to choose image I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to put this one instead. 
okay so uh this is uh my uh, shape that I want to put on my card uh, I'm gonna mm, like just change the places a little bit so I have different colors and another one so this is uh, my card this is how it's going to look after you uh, created your shapes well you can use a uh, multiple shape as you can use a uh, well, uh, lines that look different or any other things. Uh, I decided to go this way because I like it. Now I'm going to put uh, other elements in my card. Okay, so this is my final look. Now I'm going to just give uh, find some 3D objects in Figma community uh, to create a better looking uh, interface. So I'm just going to go to community and I'm just going to search 3D objects. Okay, this is the one that I want to use. I'm just going to duplicate it. So let's go back and look at the credits. Uh, shout out the, to the creator, Lisa Star. It's really a good pack. Okay. So, uh, this is what we're looking at right now. I'm just going to go to the shapes. Well, this is the shape that I'm going to use. I'm just going to... Uh, well, change the color right here. Just gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, it looks good. I want to use this one too, so I'm just gonna change the color to the color that I want. Uh, Okay, so I'm just gonna send this to back. Where did it go? Okay, so I'm just gonna send this to back. Let's just rotate it a little bit. Just put it right here. You see the uh well the noise effect that we put here is just showing itself and i'm gonna put this one here it's, it's not in the paper okay. i'm gonna put it here i'm just gonna duplicate it and send one in the back so we have this glowing kind of thingy right there okay let's just Move them a little bit, make them just a little bit smaller. So this is the final look. Uh, I used glass morphism for the uh, card, and, and for these shapes that I used on the card, I used a holographic uh, effects that I show you how to create them in the colors that you want. If you want to use them individually, you can give them noise too because it's gonna look really good. Now let's take a look to my Dribble account. This is my Dribble. Don't forget to uh, follow me for uh, more upcoming shots and ideas. This is my post. Uh, don't forget to uh, check it out, like it, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. This is the whole page. And that's pretty much it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to post every Monday. Uh, and if you wanted me to show you the uh, tools that I use from Figma community and the plugins that I use, please tell me in the comments. Maybe the next video will be about that. Okay, see you next week. Goodbye.